Hi, my name is Chris Hedinger with Applied Information Sciences, and this is part two of a disaster recovery plan series. Uh, uh, today we're going to take a look at the uh, the Amazon Web Services Console, the interface, uh, just a quick overview of uh, some of the different, some of the commonly used areas of it. And so this is the um, this is the Amazon Web Services console, uh, the home. And there's, um, if you notice, there's a whole bunch of, of different tabs here. Uh, Amazon Web Services is a is a huge um, is a huge collection of services, um, but mostly you'll most mostly you'll spend most of your time in EC2, VPC, um, occasionally in uh, SES or IAM, and um, in our previous video, we kind of covered some of these, but S <clears throat> SES is the uh, simple Amazon simple email service. Uh, if you want to send emails out and whatnot, um, you can you, you can leverage that service. And IAM is uh, the Amazon Web Services like user management system, um, or I identity and access management. I'm sorry. And this is where you can um, uh, extend the use of the console to other users who may or may not have an account. Um, but mostly. Um, Mostly, you, you would be working in EC2. Um, and so here's the EC2 console. And if you notice here, there's a, there's a whole bunch of different um, options. Um, instances lists, lists all of the instances that are currently running. Uh, an instance is basically, um, it's, a, it's an instance of an AMI. Um, and oh, none of these are running right now. Um, so if you look here, I have a, a DC, a database, and a, and a SharePoint server and a file server. So basically like if I wanted to start these up I just check the box here and I can go to instant actions and say start and say yes and all of these will will start booting up. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let those run real quick and while these are booting up you'll notice um, it has different status checks and um, it, it basically goes out to make sure that you're able to connect to it. Um, if you go to um, volumes. Volumes refer to basically hard drives. Um, these are like virtual hard drive drives. You know, in a real, in a real physical environment, you would have a server, and the server would have a drive inside of it. Um, these are virtual drives. Um, and snapshots are basically pictures of of virtual drives. So you can take a snapshot of, of a drive in a particular state, and save it and then you can you can revert back to that that snapshot uh, it'd be nice if we were able to do that in real life <laughs> um, security groups uh, this is this is basically all that this is your firewall rules where you can you can you know can block content to or from uh, a group of machines or or a single machine and you can create a group assign a single machine to it or, or create a, a group and assign many machines to it and they all they all uh, abide by particular rules um, blocking inbound or outbound traffic um, elastic IPs <coughs> these are we covered this before this is basically these are public IP addresses that are accessible outside um, and they can be assigned to um, to a, an instance like for example, right now I'm only I only only these machines have um, elastic IPs assigned to them. I mean, let's, let's all take a look and see if those are done booting up. And it looks like the SP is done. So um, if we go ahead and connect this one right and pull. Desktop connection up, and basically we use the built-in Windows Remote Desktop to connect to these machines. This over here, <laughs> okay. So if you look here, this is our um, our SharePoint server. Here is central administration. This is, so this is you know this uh, our SharePoint server is running. Now let's see if the file server is done running. Let's 
to boot. Um, if we wanted to, you could actually remo remote from a remote desktop. You could actually come in here and um, you notice here this is the outside IP address that um, I had talked about. But internally, we can connect to uh, machines by their internal address or the name. Um, so, like, say, if I want to connect to the domain controller, I can do that. This all this is all just as though we we're you know, working from a, a physical network. Now we got the DC here. are still initializing. Okay, so um, if you go into the VPC here, I have one VPC currently. Basically, I'm using a 10.0.0.0 IP range. Um, and this is where all the machines, all of my virtual machines, there was all the instances that I was just showing you are running. Instance. Right here you can see the different IP addresses of the different machines. Okay, and that concludes this presentation. Um, in our next video, we'll take a look at uh, the actual creation of snapshots using scripts and restoring those snapshots to, uh, uh, to an actual machine. Thank you.